Hey, it's Edge here. Today we're taking a look at technical analysis for gold. I'll cover wave analysis with the late wave theory and provide multiple scenarios a price may take and explain why I prefer one count over another. Let's take a look at the different possibilities. Starting here on monthly time frame and with this base earlier wave count. Overall, we've had this as a 1-2 of grand super cycle, then possibly a 1-2 completed here um, of super cycle. That would have ended around the 2015 area, um, but there is also another scenario in which we would have this as a three wave, three wave and five wave, or some kind of three wave structure overall coming down. Most likely trying to take out these lows that we had around that uh, December 2015 area. At that point, again, we would have the, the uh, super cycle two completed, and then we would be hitting higher. Now, this is my main at the moment that we have already top down the uh, uh, wave two, although it is very short. Um, overall, it did retrace, let's take a look, around the 50% area um, in price, so that is fine. We covered that. Um, so currently my main count, let's go to, let's say a weekly maybe, so, see some structure in here. So this is my main at the moment in which we have a one, two, three, uh, either four is done or not, uh, but again, third is up here. That is my primary. At the moment, we could have this as a fourth wave completed down here, or we have this structure as the wave four. Uh, wave four area of previous wave three, so this primary third, uh, wave four of this intermediate is around here. So starting from around the $1,700 area to the $1,450 area. So that is our target for the wave four if we don't want uh, having it here. So again, 0.5 retracement of this third move on, on the uh, primary scale is around the $1,615 area, um, which is some area that we don't want the price go below. Other scenario is this one in which we have a one, two, three, four, and five. Again, there's no real correlation between uh, the third and, oh sorry, the second and the fourth here, um, as they are very different in size. I definitely much prefer this as a one, two here, um, and this as the third and fourth here, um, as they have some kind of time influence between each other. We can check out how much this is currently. Um, we're not right at the one-to-one -one extension, which would be around the September area of this year. Uh, this, this definitely can lead down to that if we are just dumping downwards still. Of course, it is possible that this is going to be some kind of this move and we would take and waste more time. Now the dump here today has been pretty massive already 1.5%. Um, but let's take a look at the structures in there, um, what we have had. Going back to now to daily time frame again, still same scenario in which we have the third up here, and then we would be looking at some kind of structure in here. We had this idea that got just today invalidated. That's why I'm making this update video on gold in which again we had an A, B, C into A, B, C, D, E, some kind of triangle in here and then um, this would end the way four down here. Definitely not my preferred count anyway um, as we did have this uh, very high RSI number here already for the first wave. Um, did not really have any good looking divergence here on the third and fifth uh, making this less likely. So at the moment, we can just uh, remove this count completely. Now, the second idea is this, which is still alive for now, <laughs> saying that we had an ABC here. Um, and again, that would be the way for ending there. Not my preferred option at the moment still. This would be a one, two, three, four, and five. Uh, we would need to stop beyond, uh, before the wave two invalidation area here at around 1682. Now, the preferred ideas that I have here is a A, B, and C, or W, X, Y, whichever comes to be, um, as meaning that way four is not completed as of yet. The main goal of this whole structure here is to take out the previous lows, as we have 
been just wasting time with these substructures here. Um, again, we can be taking many good trades here, uh, especially when we see a five-way structures, um, they are very lucrative. Now, again, uh, taking out these lows, which are around the 1670 something area, would be the main goal of this larger structure. One to one extension of this first leg here is going to be around 1671 again, which would already take out these lows. We don't have volume on this chart at all, so we can't really check that out, but, but we'll deal with this at the moment. Um, there is a couple of different views on this. Um, WXY count in which we would look this as a three way structure here um, into a either W wave or and then X wave, which most likely is going to be the case as we did not really retrace a lot here for the wave B. So ABC, some kind of three way move here and then again dump downwards. We'll look into this smaller time frame structure in a bit. Um, the other scenario is that we have something like this in which we have a uh, overall structure is an A, B and C. So we would be looking for five waves in this last bit and we could be labeling as a one, two, three, four and five. Now the third wave here did not go even close to the 1.618. So it is possible that we have this as a one, two, one, two. What makes this a bit less likely is the extension of the third wave is um, larger than this one here, meaning that if this was a one, two, one, two, then this smaller wave degree would be larger than this first one. But again, is completely possible. Um, and we'll see how it turns out. At the moment, we are making the new lows here on today's price. Again, we have invalidated the previous lows that we had for that one count. And RSI is seemingly dumping down as well and uh, creating new lows, uh, giving us a heads up that this is incoming some kind of, kind of third wave or something, whether it is indeed a one, two, one, two, and this would be a third or something. Um, the targets for that would be very much downwards. Again, at that point, we would be looking around the 1537 area. Again, that would be very bearish as, as we would go beyond the 0.5 retracements here of that higher degree of primary uh, wave structure. Now, overall, the invalidation for that, this whole, whole primary structure is around here for the whole idea of this being a third wave. So, so there is still a lot of room to go, go towards, so no issue with that. Now let's jump into the uh, closer structures that we've had here, um, as I haven't covered this in quite a while. Um, overall, uh, we were looking at these structures before. Um, let's take a look at the scenarios that we had. The bullish scenario was very bleak already, um, as this way, possible wave two or wave B had taken so much time. Um, this was the only way I could get even this bullish scenario going. But again, we started to take out these uh, only supports here and that way again, invalidate this whole count. So we can just delete it. The bearish count is this one in which we had an ABC, a uh, very large ABC again, making it less likely to be an X wave just because the size uh, we had for this. The overall expectation was that for this one, we would take or uh, create some kind of three way structure here, but we did not make that. So again, we had another alternate bear count. Uh, this turned out to be the right one at the, at least at least it looks like it. Um, so we had an ABC here, uh, ABC into X. So W, X and Y, and then we would have started a new bearish uh, five way sequence in which again, we could be labeling this as a one, two, um, and most likely another one too. Um, it is very overlapping structure. So most likely the only way we can get a impulsive structure or motive wave structure in here would be to say that we have some kind of a one, two here. Um, and this whole structure would be a diagonal of some sorts. So that was the only 
only scenario that played out properly. Um, I had been <laughs> I had been um, taken out on one of these highs on gold, and I did not re-enter it as there was this many chops around. Um, but again, the overall bias was still downwards, and yeah, look at what is done today, for example. So again, we can remove the other bearish scenarios that did not play out. Uh, remove the invalidation as well, or an invalid idea. So overall, what we're looking at is still this bullish idea. Don't like it, as I explained before. Um, this is my main for sure. And within this, I, I'm thinking this is my main. Um, I kind of like that it is a one, two, three, four already completed. At this point, we would be looking for an extension here on the fifth, um, as we did not definitely have it on third. We do not even reach that 1.618. So in here, we would look this as a one, two, creating that third, then consolidation for the fourth, and then fifth. Um, the, the least I would be expect according to these um, extensions here um, of one to three or zero to three basically is the 0.618 here at around $1,700. Again, that would not take out the previous lows that we had here. So I am expecting lower low here, um, most likely around these areas of $1,600. Um, that would ha require this structure here to be quite impulsive and take quite a long um, extension here for the third wave. But let's see what kind of structure we have if we take it an extension here. So third wave. So we are currently right at the 1.618 at the moment. So um, and there is no sign of of ending yet. So if we would be looking at, well, there is some kind of divergence happening at the moment between these, or this low here and this one, and we see that on RSI in one hour at least. Um, but yeah, if we were seeing the local bearish count in which we were saying that this was a one, two and another one, two, um, I'm thinking this could be just a one, two and one, two, three, four, five. Um, so this would be only the third of this count here. So indeed, this was not going to be something involved in here. So something like this. Um, again, we'll see what happens, uh, but definitely looking very, very weak for the gold uh, structures. But again, the lower it gets overall, as the counts are very bullish, um, I don't mind it. I don't have any gold at the moment. I would be preferring to buy in here, starting to dollar cost average around the around the lows that we have here, um, taking in some kind of position. But that is pretty much everything at the moment uh, for gold. If you made it this far into the video, I would appreciate all the likes in the videos. Link to my free Discord server in the description below, and let me know if there is some asset you would like me to cover next. For now, I thank you for watching and hope you have an amazing rest of your day. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.